Hello, this is Tom from Halcyon. After uh, many requests, I'm making this video tutorial to show you how to use the new Hick Vision uh, app, which called Guardian Vision. Now this app just uh, recently been updated, and it supports the Hick Connect uh, cloud services, which is you can use it if you don't have a static IP or if you don't want to pay for a for the DNS or dynamic DNS services. So first thing when you open the app, you're gonna get to this screen. You're gonna see your site if you if you use dynamic DNS or fixed IP. If you use the Vision Hick Connect uh, services, the free services, you're gonna have to log in. So this is how it looks when you need to log in. You click on login and you put your username and password. After you log in, you will see the site added. On the site that you have in your account, you can put as many DVR as you want. They're going to be added to the list. Now, you can either click on the site that you want. I have the, my home DVR and I have the office DVR. You can just mark it. You can mark more than one DVR and just click on start live view. Or you can make yourself a favorite favorite with the cameras that you want for example if you have few location you want to have all the outdoor location all the outdoor cameras for all location all the indoor cameras for all location in this case I just made a demo side it's gonna show two of the cameras now to make the favorite you just open the sites and you select the cameras that you want to add to your favorite and then you click on the small star you give a name to the favorite and it will be added to the top now after you created a favorite you just choose the specific favorite you want to watch and then you click on start live view the first camera gonna pop up automatically what you want to do is to split the screen either to 4, 12, 9, 12 or 16 and then you can see more than one camera Double click on the camera will get the camera to full screen. And of course, if you put your phone on the side, it's gonna rotate and give you a full screen of the camera. Now by default, the camera is gonna come on uh, low quality to save bandwidth and to have a faster response. If you wanna go to high quality, you will scroll down with the icon on the bottom, click on the icon that said fluent, and you will change it to clear and the camera will become full HD. Now the zoom function is by default enabled so you can just pinch your finger and zoom in or zoom out. And same thing, double click, you will go to the other camera and you need to do the same on each camera you want to see HD. Okay, let me go with you on the icon on the bottom that you will know what all of them do. So the first icon is a PTZ control. In case you have a PTZ camera, you can control it from this button. Just gonna have this pad that you move your finger and the camera will move to the direction you want. Of course, you can pinch in and pinch out to zoom in and zoom out. You can set presets, so a specific location that the camera go I'm just going to click on set to set the preset or call to call the preset that you already set and once you set up this preset the preset saved in the camera so you can reach the preset from any device that you get that you use on more you can have a manual manual zoom manual focus the speed that the camera will respond or auto rotation the camera just gonna start rotating okay to exit this feature you're gonna click on the X now the second button it's two-way audio in case you have speaker on the side you can just hold the button talk and the people where the DVR location is can hear you next one is snapshot just to take a snapshot and to save it to your phone 
and you actually can see the small picture here next one is start recording video so technically your phone will capture what you see on the screen and then you can play it as a video that's saved on your phone the next icon is fisheye feature so in case you have a fisheye camera you can split the screen to different angles and play with the divisions of uh, whatever fisheye camera will give you okay and the image quality we already went through that the last one is alarm uh, alarm enable disable so depending on your dvi you can connect different different devices to your dvr and you can control them remotely for example you can put the uh, lights strobe light beacon light alarm you can open or close lights open or close gates technically you can control whatever you want from the dvr or from the camera okay the main thing i really like about this app about this version is easy access to the camera recording so if you want to play back whichever camera you view it's very easy to access directly from the live view of the camera so first you choose the camera that you want to play back put it on full screen as a single camera and then you will click on the play icon which is on the top right corner okay pressing this icon will take you to the same day so today is uh, july 31st it's going to take you to july 31st first recording of the day which in this case it's at uh, 2 a.m and it's going to play the camera automatically now if you want to change to a different time you're just going to drag the timeline on the bottom to the next event okay and so on and you can click on the snapshot icon to save a snapshot of the specific frame that you view if you want to go faster you can just click on the speed icon and the video will go faster now depending on your connection sometimes those options are going to be available okay if you want to view a different day you just click on the date and you select uh, another day that you want to go I choose a week ago and same thing you're just gonna drag to the specific time that you want to view and the camera will start play automatically don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel so you can keep on getting the recent updates and recent tutorial for any software or app updates thank you very much for watching